Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17, Hasu League round of 16, Group B, upper left hand corner. Sorry, bottom left hand corner. We got Veliger starting as the black Protoss, bottom right hand corner. We got Range starting as the blue Protoss. I recognize Veliger's name, but I cannot remember his playstyle. Range showed us some really good stuff in the round of 32. And this is going to be on Apocalypse, three player map for people. I got a question in chat, in Twitch chat that I will address. If you're wondering what BSL is, BSL is the, Bombast the Bomb Bam blah, 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 Bombastic Star League. Well, there I can spit it out, which is the long largest. So everybody who plays Interior to Korea is considered, uh, I guess, what's the opposite of a foreigner? A native? Brutal War native? Everybody outside of Korea is considered a foreigner because it's that big a game in Korea. And so this Bombastic Star League is the biggest tournament outside of Korea. So the biggest foreigner tournament. You've got a number of different groupings. So the top is Pro League. The next stage is, uh, what is it? Gosu League. You got Gosu League. This is Hasu League just below that. So it is, yeah, if that makes any sense. And then below this is Chobu League, which you have, you have some real wild action. Looks like we have a gateway on 10, just a single gateway from both players. I will say that this year's Hasu League looks more like Pro League than in previous years. There actually are players that have previously been in both Pro and Gosu League currently in Hasu League this season, which just shows you players getting better and better. Second gateway added by Veliger. It looks like gas being added on from ranged. This might give Velger an advantage, potentially, because this is a rampless map. Dragoon, however, there's a lot of space to work with. Dragoons, on occasion, can end up okay here. But the issue is, is with so much space for Zealots to run in, no ramp to just hold and defend or create a blockade with the shield battery, something along those lines, it can be a very, very challenging defense. And right now, it looks like Velger is also going to be able to get an earlier scout. Kind of cool little symbol for some reason reminds me of the Stussy S. If you guys are familiar with that is. There is an initial Zealot creation for ranged, so that'll provide him at least something. He sees that initial Zealot making its way out, so he knows that's happening on the, op the opposite end, and it is going to spot the two gate incoming, so the question is, is okay, how does he react as far as a follow-up? The Zealot currently chasing that probe, going to try to get what damage it can to soften it up. We have an initial Dragoon, but no additional construction of troops for range. So range potentially going to try to... Oh, and Veliger actually with a, def... a uh, pylon. So is this going to be three gate or shield, shield battery? Nearby, that's the other option. Nearby shield battery. Beat me to be able uh, to say it. So going to drop a shield battery at the natural expansion. So really dedicating. Had a probe advantage. The Zealot going to try to back off right the second and fight in the probe line. A shield battery also defensively dropped, but keep in mind that shield battery could get negated. So the raw number of Dragoons that are going to be able to, to be the safety limit going to need to be much larger, but that shield battery has been spotted in the meantime. And is this going to precipitate a second gateway from range? He still hasn't dropped a second gateway. This is now two Zealots. The one Zealot was being pulled off trying to attack that shield battery, leaving that Dragoon running for its life. The Zealot's getting dangerously close to the probe line as well, and they just don't do a lot of DPS to prevent this. One Zealot already admits the probe line. Range doing a pretty good job of having the Dragoon walk a path and actually pinning that second Zealot into the line to not take massive damage, but more Zealots are on their way. But the Dragoon count is increasing, and the Dragoons haven't taken a lot of base damage. These are going to return back to try to make the the numbers even more sizable. The Zealot that's just hanging out in the, the probe line, not helping out a lot. Second gateway finally dropped from ranged. A Zealot's getting distracted attacking a probe that direction. So that's at least one probe kill there from Veliger. However, range still has the overall worker lead. And right now his Zealots are not staying cohesive. He's managed to get another kill, but right now range is defending this superbly. Probes have pulled back to the wrong side of the line right this second. We got two more Zealots, but now it looks like an overwhelming amount of Dragoons. And that was honestly a massive investment. So now Ra Ranged has a lot of Dragoons. He can go ahead and walk up, take out the shield battery. The single Zealot's not gonna accomplish a lot. And this is now 
looks like range has already started. Is range finished? Opposite end? I'm not even sure that range was upgraded from range, ironically, at this stage. A single zealot is pocketing itself to the north to maybe go for a counterattack should range venture out and go for an additional attack. But range with the massive three advantage. And he marched his own zealot, or, or sorry, he's got his probe back here. He wanted to see whether there was a, I thought that was a zealot for a second. Now starting to march his way out. See if this sneaky zealot is going to be able to, and actually taking out that pylon has put Veliger in the red. Ranged fanning out. Okay, found the zealot somehow. How did he find that zealot? That was some extreme discipline to find that zealot, but fanned out to maybe find something. Now he's going to try to march all of those dragoons back. This is going to buy Veliger a little bit of time to stabilize. He's actually ahead slightly in supply behind all this, still massively down dragoons. That was honestly. That was honestly like, I'm not saying that this is map hacking right here, but that was a suspiciously psychic play right there from ranged. And that's some top quality. He's going DTs behind this. That is not something you'll see a lot of players do in a disciplined manner as far as a follow-up of this is to hunt for that pocketed Dragoon rather than just marching all of the Dragoons to the front. That So bravo on that end. Robotics facility getting dropped. Veliger continuing to press the attack up and losing Dragoon. Some nice micro from ranged. Sneaking through this and getting some good hits overall. Very good hits overall. Leaving two Zealots versus just four Dragoons remaining. And this is honestly, even with the Dark Templar follow-up, ranged is in an extremely brutally strong uh, scenario here. Two Dragoons actually on the front. Trying to buy some time. Honestly, these need to run to the north for Villager rather than back towards his main to try to just create. We do have three gateways versus two gateway production. But even with that, these four Dragoons might be sufficient to just end the game. Shield battery being dropped from Villager now. Four versus three right this second. One of them getting taken out, so range is going to have to back up. We do have that robotics facility behind this, but no observatory dropped as of yet. A natural expansion being built from range. It's going to be a minute it has that's going to provide a nice advantage overall and i don't see an observatory for veliger and the dark templar are almost out on the field so just now the observatory being dropped there might be an opportunity for range to still get some kills with those dts even if they don't get kills this is going to provide enough time for ranged to get some additional troops out he's also dropping a forge of his own to potentially fight off dark templar on his end of the map should they be fielded Six Dragoons versus six opposite side, although one of them has taken some extreme base damage. Here for Veliger, chasing that off, maybe wanting to establish his own natural expansion. He has to be suspicious, and oh, he didn't queue up an Observer, instead went for the next round of Dragoons, and that is going to be a massive detriment for him. So it's going to be a minute before this Observer is in play. He's going to have to, even if he pulls it as a perfect probe pick pull, and he didn't spot the Dark Templar. The second Dark Templar now spotted there. So we got dual fronts with the Dark Templar. The Observer is on the way. The Dark Templar need to actually split where they're located and ranged walking in, getting uh, actually on the rally point, going to get some free kills and a pylon on top of everything else. So loses two Dark Templar pretty rapidly, wasn't, but got some massive economic disruption. He needs to back off here though, because it's six versus seven at the natural range wisely backing up with what's left. He was able to halt the natural expansion. Four photon cannons here at the natural and an assimilator being dropped as well. Some high Templar to follow up. Psy Storm just being built. That will negate the, th the additional gateway advantage, which should shrink, honestly. So the four photon cannons should be sufficient overall. And we'll see if range drops some additional gateways as well. Plus one weapons, about halfway finished. And a fifth photon cannon being built on top of everything else. A few more zealots out. Veliger might have an attack opportunity here. He's got a lot of troops. He's And he needs to go for it. Ooh, a bad attack angle, losing a lot just straight off the bat. And now, yeah, range walking forward, getting some... Nice focus fire hits, wiping things out as he goes. 
And that's going to be GG from Veliger. Game one goes to range. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.